can advances in robotic-assisted surgical platforms give more patients access to the very best treatments? This video abstract presents an overview of the Beacon platform for robotic-assisted HOLEP, known as ROLEP, and findings from the ASTRA study, an early clinical evaluation of the technology. HOLEP is considered the gold stand for BPH treatment. Effective, size independent, yet limited in accessibility due to its learning curve and technical demands. Currently fewer than 10% of eligible patients in the US receive HOLEP. It, it requires a real-time understanding of prostatic anatomy, demanding both spatial awareness and surgical precision. The Beacon platform aims to mitigate these challenges through intelligent robotic assistance and integrates into standard OR workflows. It features a touchscreen operated robotic arm and interfaces with conventional endourology instruments via proprietary adapters, eliminating the need for disposable components. Functionally, the Beacon platform includes a robot cart, a touchscreen tablet interface, and proprietary surgical instrument adapters, including a nucleator adapter, a morselator adapter, and a morselator, morselator clip lock, all of which support the HOLEP procedure through a unified and user-friendly digital interface. The ASTRA study is a prospective multi-centered first-in-human feasibility trial assessing the safety of robotic-assisted HOLEP using the Beacon platform. 19 patients were enrolled across five study sites with a mean prostate volume of 56 cc's. Each underwent a nucleation using the Beacon platform. The primary safety endpoint was the rate of clavin dindo grade 3a or higher adverse events within 30 days, confirmed and independently adjudicated by the study's principal investigators. Importantly, no complications grade 3 or higher occurred no transfusions, no reoperations, and no life-threatening events. Reported adverse events were consistent with established post-op HOLE profiles, including transient urinary urgency, dysuria, and temporary incontinence. These events resolved or were improving at follow-up and were not attributable to the device performance or system design. Procedure duration across all patients averaged 137 minutes, for the six most recent cases, this was reduced to 89 minutes, which is comparable to published data on manual HOLEP. Software upgrades have improved the performance over time. From a clinical perspective, the safety outcomes in Astra align with those observed in conventional HOLEP, supporting the hypothesis that ROLEP does not introduce additional risk. From a technological perspective, the Beacon platform is engineered for longevity and adaptability. Its modular, software-driven design allows for ongoing performance improvements and feature expansion without requiring hardware changes. This includes future integration of advanced decision support tools and higher levels of autonomy, while ensuring the surgeon remains in full control. Regulatory submission to the FDA has been completed and the platform is currently under review for 510k clearance. This is a significant milestone in validating the system's readiness for broader clinical use. Looking forward, the next phase of the study will build upon the current findings by focusing on comprehensive performance metrics with a larger number of cases. While Astra focuses on HOLEP, the Beacon platform is designed as a full-spectrum endourology system with plans to expand into other, into other endourology procedures via future software upgrades. In summary, Astra has demonstrated that the Beacon platform provides a safe, efficient and adaptable approach to robotic-assisted HOLEP. These findings lay the groundwork for expanded clinical use and continued innovation in robotic endourology.